Hi playing. everybody, Rob Keys here playing Destiny, and I am going to show you the best place in the game to farm blue and purple engrams. So first thing you're going to do is go to the patrol in Old Russia on Earth, and you're going to book it to the left. And we're going to head to that big building with the radar dish on top. You'll see it around the corner once I go down here. I'm just using this uh, sparrow or harrow, oh god, to make this as quick as possible. You can avoid combat, you're just trying to get there. But I want to make sure you know the way. So once we get up past this hill, we're going to see this thing. There you go. See the big building with the dish? If you've done the first few story missions, and you probably have if you're farming, then you'll find this very familiar. So we're going to go in there and traverse the whole thing and just try to skip all the combat. And as soon as you get to the end, where you fight the wizard, the first boss of the game, then you're pretty much there. You just have to bypass that room, go outside, and you're set. Come on. Give me my vehicle. Whoa, it's coming through. Try to keep this. Yeah. Normally you have to get off there, but if you sneak to the left, you can keep your vehicle. See the green crystals? You know you're going the right way. Then up here we go to the dark area. This is the room. It's going to be full of acolytes. Ignore them. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for ghosts, there's one dead one up here. I just found it last time I came through. And uh, skip this. And up here, we should be getting to the big room where you fight the boss. And you'll see a wizard fly by with his posse. There she is. To give her a grenade in the face. So this is where you fight the wizard boss. Um, you want to get into this room and go left. So one quick way to do it is to jump up top fall inside and you're gonna hook back left and go through this door you should come to a hallway with some text at the end that way you know you're going the right way again this is all should be familiar to you if you've done uh, a lot of game time on earth all right there's already a player up there doing it so once you come outside again go to the other building with the radar dish this one whoops I'm just gonna line up where this other player is up here and as soon as you see this slab of cement, you're in the right spot. So you want to stand here, give him a little dance, uh, and you're going to guard this cave from back here and set up a little firing squad. And I don't know what's happening. There should be guys coming out of it. Maybe some of them already came out and we have to kill them. Yeah, looks like they're up here maybe. Kill these fools. See if that did anything. Yeah, they're coming out now. Okay, so let's kill these guys, get this under control. There they are. So now that we have them under control, they're going to spawn here continuously and constantly. And you want to stop them from escaping. As soon as they get out of this cave, they start going up to the right, and they're a little hard to shoot. So you want to shoot them while they're in the cave. And that way, these guys... If you kill them fast enough and kill them before the following wave will spawn, if they get up here, uh, they won't do it. But if you kill them all in here quickly, they will frequently drop engrams. Most of it's going to be green, the uncommon stuff. But they will occasionally drop um, the blue rares and purple legendaries. There you go. I just saw a green one drop. So again, it's good to have a couple of players. Of course, Destiny doesn't... Um, require players to share ammo or loot so it's good to have a lot of players here working together and there's another green one dropped and you want to stay around this this slab if you go too far forward these guys won't spawn and they won't drop engrams so stay back here shoot them for as long as possible and then when you run out of ammo or when one of your fire team runs out of ammo usually people start going in they can collect your loot and come back wash rinse and repeat it is the destiny grinding way <laughs> But yeah, in my first 10 minutes doing this, I got two legendaries, uh, and then I started got a, started getting a lot of blue ones, and then I got a couple of more legendaries. Now, when I went to the Cryptarch in the in the tower, none of them actually turned up to be legendary weapons or armor, but I did get a lot of strange coins, which is still very good, because when Zur, that crazy merchant called the Agent of the Nine, when he comes back this Friday, usually he's there every Friday and Saturday, somewhere in the tower, uh, you can use those strange coins to buy exotic items off of him so strange coins very important don't feel bad if you get that from an engram it's still very useful 
Uh, to do this, I would recommend using a scout rifle. If you're like level mid 20s, your scout rifle should one shot all of these guys in the head, and this is the best way to conserve your ammo. If you're using an auto rifle or a burst gun, like a pulse rifle, you're gonna lose your ammo really quick. So it's good to just use this thing. And just, look at this, just cleaning these guys up one after the other. You can use a hand cannon as well, but with a hand cannon, you only usually get like 100 bullets in total. With this thing, you get two or 300, uh, and it's only one shot per kill. So easy way to do this. I got 60 shots left, so two more reloads, and I'll run in there just so you can see the loot. So far, it's just been green engrams, I think. But even those are handy because you can break them down and get weapon parts and some glimmer, which you need to upgrade your better weapons anyway. So, oh, shouldn't have reloaded then. Sometimes when you're doing this, they'll see some guys spawn from here. Uh, you gotta take those guys out because they get in the way, but don't lose focus in the cave. You really want to stop the acolytes from getting up because you can lose them really quick. And sometimes the thralls. When they get out, I think I just saw a blue engram drop. But the thralls will like run all the way up there sometimes. Oops. All right, we're gonna have to go in there soon. I'm almost out of ammo. I'll switch to my sniper rifle. I've been shooting more than I normally do. Once you find a really good spot, there you go. Good way to upgrade your character as well. I'm playing Hunter right now, so I started as a gunslinger and unlocked all my skills. So I switched it over to the Blade Dancer, and I've been slowly. Uh, unlocking all those skills as well before I actually switch to a new character. Might as well spend all my ammo. There's going to be so much ammo in there. I might as well spend it all. I When I'm here, I even use my rockets as well. Might as well. These guys will drop purple ammo as well for special weapons and heavy weapons. This is a legendary sniper rifle. When I get a headshot, guys will explode. Almost done. Oh, no, no, no. We screwed up. Oh, good job. Sidekick. Again, bring a friend. But you know what? This is the third or fourth time I've tried this, and every time I've come here, there have been two, three, four players here already doing this. All right, we're going to go. All right. Here is the loot. Look at all these green engrams. Got a one blue one. So, and tons of ammo. So no purples that time, but uh, every few times you'll get a purple or two. So it's definitely worth doing. This is the fastest way to get engrams in the game that we know of. Uh, if you know of a, f of a faster way, please let me know. I want to try that out. But right now, this is the fastest thing we've seen. Look at that. Full rockets, full sniper ammo, full primary weapon. And the best part is... If you have a bunch of players here, you can sit down for a bit, go grab a drink, come back, and still collect the rewards, because even if you're not shooting, uh, you can still pick up engrams. There goes a green one again. So, there you go. This is the fastest way to farm engrams in Destiny. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments. I love reading them. And again, any ideas for other videos you want me to make, let me know, and I will. I finally got my PS4 set up so I can record this stuff. Cheers, and we'll see you next time.